so this video has the following elements product description followed by block diagram and circuit diagram then there is a series of videos which has the footage from the assembly to the testing of our product then we have the algorithm and uh, the table which comprises of all the parts which we have used in our project then there is a highlight element which is like a summary so let's move ahead so this project is a remote control car which is capable of avoiding obstacles with the use of an ultrasonic sensor we have used a board from arduino which is arduino uno arduino is a development board which you can use for your projects then we have the motor driver and an ultrasonic sensor and this toy can be controlled using a mobile application which you can easily find on google play store so we have to input variable m or o m is for a manual mode and o is for an obstacle avoidance mode and when you select the input mode m then the bluetooth module which we have used will send a request to arduino controller and arduino will further transfer that request to the motor driver and if we talk about the obstacle avoidance mode if you select that then a request will be sent to the ultrasonic sensor which further send a request to arduino and arduino will forward that request to motor driver so now what's gonna happen because we have used the ultrasonic sensor then that sensor will measure the distance between the toy and the object if the distance is less than or equal to 30 centimeter then it will stop it will move a little bit back and it will stop again then it will turn right and then again read the distance and turn left and read the distance either it will turn left or right depending on the condition satisfaction and then it will move forward and this loop will keep on going and going and going will be a Arduino Uno there will be a motor driver which will be further connected to two motors then there will be a 12 volt battery for the power supply then there will be a Bluetooth module for our wireless connection so here is the circuit diagram the four pins of the motor driver will be connected to pin number six seven eight and nine of Arduino Uno and then the pins of the ultrasonic sensor will be connected to pin number uh, a4 and a5 of arduino uno and the battery connection will be to the vcc and the ground so this is the basic circuit diagram and explanation of how connections will be done My teammate Bhavish is attaching the wheels to the motors which I have mentioned before and the base of this toy for now is a cardboard. In this video we can see that he has attached all four wheels to the frame of the toy using glue gun
now he is attaching the motor driver to the frame and this is Adino Uno and he is using glue gun to attach it to the frame now for design we are simply going with white cardboard and we are attaching it to the corners of the board so that it gives a good look this is the interface of the application i was talking about On the left side you can see a hollow circle you have to tap on it and you have to connect the car make sure that power supply to the Arduino is on this is how you can turn it left and right here my teammate Bhavesh is simply moving the board for testing In highlights, first I want to talk about the existing solutions. So in the market, usually we have the RC cars and the functionality which all of them give is quite the same. So this toy is far better in terms of replacing all those old RC cars and introducing a new design and disrupting the whole RC market. If we talk about the feasibility analysis, then it's quite feasible because of the components we have used. We have used Arduino Uno, which means that in future, there is a big, big opportunity for us to expand. If we want to introduce new functions to our RC car, then we can do that because Arduino boards support a hell lot of projects. Uniqueness of our design is again, I'll talk about the board we have used, the features our bot is performing, the features our bot is, the features our toy is giving and the compact design, market reach. If we, talk, if we talk about the market reach of this project, then it's quite high as the number of smartphone users have increased significantly and they are mainly students. So we have a good market base.